but why should we have more money? Um, I heard that sometimes and people ask that, but I don't understand it. Uh, why? First of all, because that there is a new mechanism for helping directly to the banks, as we said uh, five minutes ago, and maybe is what they are expecting. The, the no. Portuguese media said that, and they. Yeah, the about Portuguese that. media, as all media, uh, of course, reflect many opinions, and everybody is entitled to, to the opinions. The problem is that we sometimes are so responsible on trying to present a global framework instead of some sound bites, that sometimes it's hard to get to all those questions because we need to explain the whole system. Uh, because now things are a little bit more complex. What we have been saying is that Portugal needs more time to meet uh, the objectives of the memorandum. More time allows the economy to breathe, allows to increase fiscal revenue, more time with lower interest rates allows us to pay every year less interest rates, putting less pressure in the budget, and for that reducing the deficit and not asking more money to cover the deficit. Another argument, you know that part of the 78 billions of our uh, program, 12 billions, are reserved for the banks. The majority of it, most, more than half, is unused yet. So we're talking about six, uh, six billion. And they are deposited in the banks. So they are contributing for the liquidity in simple terms of the banks. So even if we ask for one more year, that money is almost enough to cover one complete year of deficit, of normal deficit. So there is money, even for that. For instance, uh, and connecting the two, uh, one of the proposals that we have been fighting for more than a, a year is using a part of that money that it stopped in the banks. It's already deposit there. It's unbelievable how we have so much money deposit. Uh, is using three billions of that money as uh, financing uh, specific sectors of the economy. So we asked to use three billions of that money, specific as credit lines, specific credit lines to those sectors in order to them to invest and to produce things that would be more virtuous to our uh, external balance. So that's one concrete measure that has a direct impact on the economy. Another one was to negotiate, because one of the problems of the Portuguese companies now is access to credit. So we have been fighting for a year and the government finally approved, uh, approved that a few weeks ago, a negotiated agreement with uh, uh, EIB, European Investment Bank, of 5 billion euros specific to finance companies directly, not banks, to finance directly companies in order to allow them to produce and to develop and to invest. Again, these two measures in a country of our size have, could have uh, Im immense uh, impact, would preserve jobs because it would allow companies to invest, create jobs, sell more, diversify their markets, and keep the economy breathing. So that would be the, the main priority. Second priority, the, the leader of the party, Antonio Seguro, said that uh, if he was elected prime minister, the first thing that he would do is to catch a plane to go to Washington, IMF, to go to, EI, uh, to go to ECB, and to go to European Commission. Uh, IMF, it's very important because, you see, you have many declarations of uh, Christiane Lagarde saying that this is not working. But at the same time, you have the technicians that come with the Troika saying that we should keep doing it. So we don't understand it. Also, we had the recognition by uh, the chief economist of uh, uh, IMF that they made a mistake on the multiplier of recession. Based on those two things, public and political declarations of Lagarde and the technical mistake that they recognize, we would go to IMF and say, we need to stop this and we need to change the strategy of the program. That would be the priority. We are a bit pessimistic uh, because until now all the predictions failed, all. 
economic growth, recession, employment, unemployment, creation of jobs, which is a different number from unemployment, uh, public debt, all predictions of the government are the Troika failed. Not even one was correct. So what we have been asking is, okay, if everything is failing, why are we doing the same thing over and over again, like Greece and, and others? So we are not very optimistic and we feel that the next six months will be dramatic on, on social terms and dramatic on economic terms. So the solution will be obviously on a European level, otherwise it will be very so hard. I cannot say honestly when, uh, of course, going so down, one day you will start growing, but it will take 20 years to come back to the same point you were five years ago. We have been uh, trying very hard uh, and we, are ma we have a, a principle on this. Uh, in the present situation, you need to, to tell the whole truth to the people. And the Socialist Party and even any political party that goes into power in the next years, it will be its last chance in the sense that the political system and the democratic system relies very much uh, on the success of the next uh, center-left and social democratic and socialist uh, governments uh, uh, all over Europe. So it will be our last chance and we are very aware of that uh, pressure.